Welcome to Digging with Deej. Um, I am waiting for my digging partner, Ryan, and his wife and their kids. Uh, they're showing up here shortly to go on a family dig at the 1880 Victorian Farm Dump with me. And I just wanted to emphasize, this is the cheapest hobby I know of, outdoor hobby, that you can save history at the same time. Now, the reason why I say that is, all you need, the digging tool. I bought these two years in a row now, or three years in a row now, at Rite Aid Pharmacy, and they've been 50% off, and they have held up really good, of all the places to find a good digging tool. Um, half price, I think I paid three, 350 for these. You need a digger that's got a chisel end on one side and a tine end on the other side. Okay, so you need one of these, a pair of protective gloves that's got rubberized, you know, the thickness you want. These are cheapies, I have to be careful because glass can still cut through these. But if you go to the hardware, you can find a good pair of protective gloves for 10 bucks and a full-size shovel and plenty of water especially in the summer because you're going to be expending calories and you're going to need to hydrate often and this is a great hobby for a person by themselves or a group of people family just make sure you have protective gloves for everybody diggers for everybody <coughs> Now what we do when we go as a group is each person digs for 15 to 20 minutes and then they s sit out and take a break and rest and hydrate and we rotate. So there'll be three of us adults today and we'll be taking turns digging. That way, you know, you don't get as wore out as quickly. Um, but as I said, I this is the cheapest hobby I know of that you can do outdoors and still save history. So I will get back to you folks when we arrive at the dump. Ding bad here, left her phone. Yeah. It's on a cork top, but it's not, there's nothing on it. But the uh, plug's still in it. It's pretty cool. Mom, let me show you something. Old this is a chemical or something, probably. Yeah, probably a chemical. Uh, seam goes to the top, so it's 1900, 1920. Nice. Very nice. Wow. It even has the lid on, lid on it. it. Cool. Put it over by the other ones. I'm taking a video, so find something cool. <laughs> Digging away. Wire. Oh, something just popped out. What's that? Chunk of oh, metal. melted something. Ooh, yeah. what is that? I don't know what that is. It's a In the water. Well, dude. Some kind of disc. Nope, it's trying to rain. Show what we've got covering us. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, giant poo jar. No writing on it? No, it's a ball. It's a oh, ball. is it? Or a oh, curve. you found a, it's a, a curve. curve. Mason. Well, oh, wait. Sweet. Curve mason jar. Yep, I found a ketchup bottle. Oh. Ketchup bottle. Ketchup. Oh, ketchup broken bottle. blue. Ketchup bottle. Yep, put it over by your pal. That just fell right down from the top. Wow. Big mason jar. Okay. They got a cork top. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Maddie got a Maddie milk glass. Got a milk glass. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. I see, I see. Ray, what'd you get? A big piece of plastic. Yeah. Yeah, that always make me nervous by her face. Yes. I found a mini airplane too. Well, this is our roundup after how many hours have we been here? Five hours yeah, of digging? Probably. We've got a early 1900 inkwell. We got five milk glass, mustard jar, sauce jar, uh, Vaseline. Very pretty square screw top uh, cobalt. Another green jar. I don't know what that's to. Got three cork tops, two shoe polish and one chemical. Green salt shaker. This, I believe, was a stopper or a cap to a bottle because there's a broke off bottle inside of it. Um, we got two marbles, which brings the count to 14. Teeny tiny light bulb. Teeny tiny toy airplane. Small buckle. Unicorn, a very cool bake a razor with a bakelite handle. Very cool. One, two, three, four, five mason jar lids. Um, pickle jar, miscellaneous jar, sauce jar or tonic, I'm not sure which. It's a Cerdo jar or bottle. Roman cleanser. We think this is either a wine or a seltzer bottle and some kind of a beer that's unmarked. It's got markings on the bottom, but that's it. And a Kerr mason jar with a lid. And this we're not sure, but it's super thick glass. And it says Borelli twice on here. So we're not sure if that's a sauce, but we some kind of jar or something, but it was only six and three quarters ounces and a spoon that says Flint is all we can make out on it. So that's our hunt today. I think we're going to come back tomorrow and do some more digging because we've gotten way deeper. So remember, you got to be patient. You don't always find good stuff every time you go out. And have a good time. Get outdoors. Enjoy this weather while you got it. And we'll see you soon.